So in this video, I'm going to do a beginner's tutorial on how to use OKX. I'll show you how to sign up, how to secure your account, how to complete KYC, how to deposit on OKX, and how to buy crypto on OKX, and also how to withdraw from the platform. At the time of recording, OKX is listed among the top five cryptocurrency exchanges on CoinMarketCap. They have lots of great features, including a demo account. So if you want, you can learn the platform and learn to trade without using your real hard earned cash. So first of all, you'll want to sign up to OKX. If you haven't already signed up, then I have an affiliate link in the description below, which at the time of recording, if you sign up using it, then both of us will receive a mystery box with crypto rewards worth up to 10K. And if you complete your identity verification within seven days and you deposit $50 within 14 days after signing up, we will both receive an additional mystery box. So I recommend you using the link in the description below. So once you're on the OKX site, it will ask you for either a phone number or an email address. Once you have done this, you will need to provide KYC. KYC is pretty common in the crypto industry nowadays and stands for Know Your Customer. And it's to prove you are who you say you are and you are not a career criminal. So to complete this, you will need to take a photo of your ID and also a selfie. OKX will provide you with a QR code which you can then launch a website on your mobile phone and then use the camera on your phone to complete this. Once you have supplied this information, you will need to put in your address details also. Now you'll be pleased to hear my account was verified near enough instantly, so you shouldn't have to wait around for this. So the first thing you want to do after signing up is to set up multi-factor authentication. So you want to click on this person icon here and then go to security. Now, if it's your first time going to this page, it will warn you about protecting your funds by adding multi-factor authentication. And it will recommend either linking a mobile phone or an authenticator app. I recommend using Google Authenticator. You can just download the app on your phone. Then from here, you will just scan a QR code into the app. And then this will give you a six digit code that you need to supply every time you log into OKX. It's also worth writing down the setup key somewhere safe in case you need to recover your authenticator app or if you lose access to your phone. If you want, you can also set up phone verification if you want even more security. Now, once you've done this, you'll want to either deposit crypto or buy crypto. So to buy crypto, you can simply press buy crypto at the top and then press express buy to buy crypto with a card. At the top, you would pick the currency you want to buy with. I'm gonna leave this as GBP as I'm in the UK and I'm gonna put in 15. Then you can click the drop down below this to pick whichever crypto you want to receive. Now I'm gonna pick USDT. Now you can click buy USDT and there are a number of ways to pay, including by bank transfer, Apple Pay and Google Pay, depending on the amount of crypto you are buying. So you can see here, I'm gonna buy $17.70 of USDT with one USDT equaling around roughly 85 pence for a total of 15 pounds. And I'm, I'm gonna press buy USDT. So once you've purchased crypto, this will appear under the my assets section up here. So you can see I now have $17.70 of USDT. Alternatively, if you already have some crypto and want to deposit it onto OKX, you can click on the assets button here and press deposit. Here you will pick the crypto you want to deposit. So I'm just gonna pick USDT again. Then you need to pick the network you plan to transfer it over. So I'm just gonna say the ERC21. Uh, then press next and you will have the option to deposit this to two accounts your funding account and your trading account. Each of these has a different address. So once you've got your address, you want to paste it into your other exchange and then send from that exchange to this one. As per the warning, you want to make sure you have selected the same network as the platform you are withdrawing from, otherwise you will lose your crypto. You'll be notified via email once the deposit has been processed and is on your account. Now, don't worry if you send it to either the trading or the funding one incorrectly, you can swap this afterwards by going to the transfer button up here 
and then choosing how much you want to move between the two. Similarly, if you want to withdraw your crypto, you can do the inverse of depositing and pick the crypto you want to withdraw and put in the address you want to send it to and you will see any associated fees with this withdrawal also. So anyway, now you have crypto on your account, you can just convert it by going to trade here and convert, but I recommend doing this instead through the spot trading section instead, as you will get a better price. So moving on to the trading section. So because this is a beginner's video, we've got two points of interest, spot trading, which I'll come on to in a sec, and demo trading. So anything we do in spot trading, you can do in the demo trading section, but with fake money. So you can learn how to trade and also learn how the OKX platform works. So I'm just gonna click spot trading and basic trading is spot trading. Now you may see a slightly different view when you open this screen and you can change this by pressing this button over here. I've set it to advanced right, which is similar to some other exchanges. So with spot trading, you are basically buying one crypto and then selling the other with whatever crypto pairing you select. So to choose this pairing, you would click this drop down here. I'm gonna pick Bitcoin. And now you will see there's three sections here, spot, perpetual and futures. And we're not interested in perpetual and futures. In this video, we're only interested in spot. So because I want to buy Bitcoin and sell USDT, I would click this here. If there are any pairs that you trade regularly, you can just press star on them and they will appear in your favorites. So now I've selected that, I'm gonna go for a quick run through of the screen. At the top, you've got the current price and some 24 hour information like the lows, the highs, the volume and the turnover. Below this, you have the chart with all your standard functionality. And on the right of this, we have the order book, which basically when you buy crypto, you are buying from someone that's selling. And when you are selling, you are selling to someone that's buying. So the order book displays current active orders that are waiting to be matched with a counterparty. So on the right, we have the main area where we will be buying and selling. So the easiest way to buy or sell crypto is with a market order, which will buy or sell at the current market price. You can key in an amount in USDT or use the slider to buy a percentage amount of your available balance. So I'm saying buy 10 USDT worth of Bitcoin. So the fees you get charged will be based on the order type you place. So with a market order, you are considered a taker of the market as you're taking the current market price. So you can see here, I will be charged 0.1%. Fees will decrease when you hold OKX's own OKB token and also trade in larger volumes. So if you're happy with this, you can press buy BTC and then you can see there that I'm going to place a market order for 10 USDT and then you can confirm that. So you can see on the chart with the arrow where I purchased this, you can also see this transaction in the order history and that it was filled. And now you can also see that I've got Bitcoin in my assets. This will also appear on the asset screen that I showed you earlier. If we flip back to this one, you can now see that I've got some Bitcoin there. So you can also see this in the sell tab where we now have Bitcoin. And if you wanna sell this back to USDT, you could do this here exactly the same as we did before, but I'm not gonna do this as I want to keep my Bitcoin. So next is a limit order. So whereas a market order buys Bitcoin at the current market price, a limit order lets you specify the price that you want to buy Bitcoin at. So for example, say you look at the chart and if I put this on the one hour, Bitcoin is currently trading at 36,300 ish. And we can see recently it was around 35,000. So you may say that you don't wanna pay 36.3, but instead you wanna pay 35. So you can set a limit order to purchase this if the crypto goes back to this price. And by placing an order above or below the current market price, you are deemed a maker of the market and therefore you pay less in fees. And so in this case, I would be charged 0.08%. So if I go to place a limit order, I'm going to press buy here and then I'm going to say I want to buy Bitcoin at 35,000 and I want to do it with all of my USDT. And you may have noticed these tick boxes for take profit and stop loss on both the market and limit order. So a stop loss will basically cash out your position on your behalf if the price drops to a specific point. So say Bitcoin crashes, uh, you may want to protect yourself from losing too much of your balance. So you may say if Bitcoin goes below 33,000, then 
create a market order to cash it out. And then Take Profit does the inverse of this, where it will cash out your position when a desired amount of profit is reached. So we could say if Bitcoin reaches, I'm going to go ridiculous here, 400K, then take the profit and create a market order to do this. So once I'm happy with this, I can press buy Bitcoin. And then you can review your order here and then confirm that. It's worth noting that if the price of your limit order is not reached, then the order will not process, but it will hold your money in the meantime. So now you can see my open order down here. And from here, you can modify this, or if you want to cancel your order, you can also do that here. Another point worth noting is you can't trade to any fiat currencies on OKX, but you can do this through the sell portion of their site. So if I go back to where I purchased my crypto earlier, if I press sell here, then you can send it back to your bank account from here. Just note, you will need to transfer your funds from your trading account to your funding account first. Now, in addition to spot trading, OKX has loads of cool features like trading bots and copy trading. And I've not got time to go into these in this video, but I am going to record videos on these very soon. So I recommend you subscribe so you don't miss out on these and all the other great content I release. And if you got any value from this video, then please don't forget to give it a like. And also, if you're new to crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.